Hi, this is Randy Wyckoff, the Dean of Public Health at East Tennessee State University, and this is your bare bones approach to better health. While this is predicted to be a relatively mild winter, nearly three quarters of Americans live in areas that get more than five inches of snow each year. And according to the U.S. Department of Transportation, over 1,300 people are killed in vehicle crashes on snowy, slushy, or icy pavement every year. While I can't teach you how to drive in the snow, I can help you prepare for it. I would suggest five steps. One, before the winter season, have your car checked out by a mechanic, especially check your tire tread, your headlights, fluid levels, and your windshield wipers. Two, be sure to have a warm jacket and a blanket in your car. It's also a good idea to have a reflective vest in case you have to get out. Three, a few other items to have are an ice scraper, a headlamp, flares, and jumper cables. And depending on where you live, you may want to add some kitty litter, salt, or sand, and a shovel. Four, if you have a child in a car seat, be sure that you can dress them in thin, warm layers so that the car seat is snug and safe, and then provide blankets or a coat for added warmth over the top of the car seat. Five, finally, check with your car insurance carrier to see what kind of roadside assistance you have. And for more information on safe winter driving, please go to wets.org forward slash bare bones. And until next week, please be well.